That's my heart. Boop boop. Oh. Cheers, guys, because it's Valentine's Day. Hooray! Yay! A day of love and appreciation and a lot of sadness for the single ladies. Today, we are going to make cake pops. But because I couldn't get my hands on the stick part of the cake pop, we're just gonna make loads of truffle version. Delicious! Um, I went ahead and purchased a box of cake mix. Um, and then I went ahead and baked that sucker because um, prep apparently is key in the kitchen. And then you need to like scramble it up and mush it up and make it all like flaky. It can't no longer be a cake. So I just went ahead and I like, scrambled that sucker up. You will need the following things. What do you need? So this is the cake stuff that you saw. If you hold it up, they can see it. A bowl full of mix. A bowl full of it. Yes. You guys will also need the um, the cream cheese version of frosting. You guys will need chocolate melts in a variety of colors because Valentine's Day is pink, along with other sexual organs, but also white. But I've melted it already. I made a mistake. Like my armpit. And then garnishes, that's the best part. Step one is to take the bowl of cake crumble stuff and add a heaping tablespoon of icing. Go. When you're single on Valentine's Day, sure. Heap it. Oh my god. And then mix it together so the cream cheese gets all mixed up with the cake. This is kind of semi-difficult to do. So when you guys have mixed it with your hands, because forget forks and Whoa. utensils. Oh my god. It's a nugget. You, you get a big ball, and then what you want to do is make smaller balls for cake yeah, many pop mix. As many as... <laughs> as many as you can make out of set things. So it should look like that. How big should my balls be? However thirsty you are. I was gonna say that. <laughs> You're helping. Can you hold so. it lower? Because I'm not as tall as you are. Just, just <laughs> There's a giant ginger bear. There you go, got it. I have a little chest here. Okay. So once you guys have it rolled out, you need to, I don't know, put it in the fridge for like maybe like 15 minutes. It's gotta be cold for the hot chocolate. Great, and then we're gonna take this opportunity, to, sorry, to go ahead and melt the chocolate whichever way you want. You could do the microwave, we're gonna go stove top because we ancient as the After you've melted the chocolate and tried to dip set cake pop into the chocolate, you're gonna get something ratchet looking like this, yeah. and then you're gonna wanna put it in the freezer. I think maybe like half an hour. Sure, I mean, like that. Yeah. I don't know. So, like half, 15 minutes to half an hour. Whenever it gets hard. Because <laughs> on Valentine's, you wanna stand up. I will just stand here with cake pops and let you guys have at it. Uh, oh. Maybe the chocolate might have been a little bit too hard and you can't dip a lot of things in it, but you can sure as hell try. Cheers! Valentine's Day cake pops! Yum! Yum. Mm -hmm. And that's it for this week's video! Hey, yeah. thank you very much for watching Woo. and thank my best friends for yeah. being in it! Happy Valentine's Day, um, food fam, and my besties, hell big. <laughs> Check out uh, the video that we did on Grace's channel. Um, it got really happy and very Valentine's Day themed. And then also check out the video that we did on Mamrie's uh, channel where we got drunk. Yay! You guys know what to do. Like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys next week. I promise. Bye! Bye! <laughs> Beans is also here. Beansy! Beansy, where are you? Beansy, oh my god! Beansy, away! Supervision! Beansy! Beansy!